All right, check it. I feel like we have. A, I have a very interesting video for you guys. This is going to be uh, from two experts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're not experts whatsoever. <laughs> so I have a little uh, experience with motorcycles, and then so does he. Um, he's been riding for a year, half a year, maybe half a year. Plus. So we would consider yourself a new rider, right? Yeah. So I've been riding for. 10 years, but I still would consider myself a new rider because I haven't been to the track. I've done canyons, I've done uh, commuting and all that stuff, and there's still more to learn with, with motorcycles. Um, so I'm gonna bring you guys, uh, the I'm gonna test all these out, and then we're gonna get, he's gonna test them out, and he's gonna give us his review of each bike as a new rider, if he thinks, because he owns this, uh, let me bring you guys with me. So he owns the Yamaha R3. What year is it? It's a 2015. I think it's a first gen R3. So first generation R3. And this is what you've been riding so far, right? Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna bring, we're gonna allow him to jump on the R6. That's a 600. And then we're gonna jump onto the R, uh, Yamaha uh, MT-09, which is a 900. And then the, the, the Harley and that's a 1250. So we're jumping from different types of, of uh, bikes as well as different orientations. So that's your super sport, your naked, your cruiser, and we're gonna get his feedback on it. What do you think, you excited or what? Oh, definitely excited, oh, with that R6. So, so right now, what, in your mind, which one do you wanna jump to right away? Like which one's your go-to? Which is the one that you want to pick to, to ride? I want to try the 600. I want to see if I'm ready to jump the gun from 300 to 600. Okay. Give it a try. I had a couple of questions for you, right? And the questions were, why did you choose the R3 as your first bike? Well, I am only 19, so I do have half a year. I'm M1, everything. Wanted, off, wanted to start off good, show my parents that I'm really serious about this. Don't so, go crazy. So that's, that's my question. So. When you chose this, was it because you made that decision because your family or? It was more on myself. I wanted to be able to maneuver the bike, right? You know. Okay, and Learn actually, that's good. a good thing. Yeah, a lot, of, good. a lot of good start. I mean, I never started on, on a on a, a three hundred, which yeah, I don't think it hindered me. But I think I would have learned a lot more if I did. But this video is gonna be for the new writer and it's, it's gonna be kind of telling a story of what you should jump on, you know, what and is the right learn. choice? Uh, yeah. And I don't think there is a right choice, I don't, you know, is it better to jump out a lighter bike with less power? Yeah, because you learn more and I'm pretty you're sure you're, 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 you're gonna be a better writer yeah. as the time goes. I daily her every day, learn, I took the courses, everything, just so I could be a better driver, writer, I mean. Later on, hopefully, like I said, jump. <laughs> so the R6 is what your choice of, of yeah. the bike that you want to jump from from this bike. Yeah. Well, we'll see though. We'll, we'll see, see after we'll see after all writing all of them. We'll see exactly yeah. which one you'll choose. I'm pretty sure he's gonna stick with the R6 <laughs> because it's just it's your style of bike. Yeah, it's my style. All right. Of bike. So this this is gonna be an interesting one, huh? this bike is I don't know how I feel about it to be honest it's been a minute since I've actually ridden this bike so we're gonna allow Alex to ride the R6 afterwards so we're gonna go take it for a quick spin and see how we feel this way Ha <laughs> 
Dude, it's so freaking aggressive, bro. It's like I'm like laid down, bro. It's crazy. I would consider this not a good daily. So, so far riding the, the R6 already, I've been on it for like a minute or two. And oh my God, either I'm getting older or I can't even turn on this bike. So, uh, you know, this is, the, this bike is an aggressive uh, stance, right? So you're, you're in that attack position all the time ready to you know hit the corners this bike is track focused is it a good daily now this is coming from a 30 plus year old i wouldn't say so i wouldn't say it was a, it's a good daily personally now jumping from the r3 to the r6 or going to the r3 that's a dailyable that bike is very dailyable and manageable you can you can ride that bike uh daily because it is aggressive but it isn't to the point where you're i've been on this bike for three minutes my back is already hurting but again i'm a i'm an older older guy we're gonna get his uh, we're gonna get the uh alex's opinion when he rides this thing and he's gonna love it now i remember when i was uh younger and i had my uh my jigsaw which is also a little bit less of an aggressive bike and i used to ride this bike too and i didn't mind it but as as the time goes you you i, I feel like you develop you develop your uh your strengths and your, your focuses and you you change your your style and 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 your muscles are different as well <laughs> but if you stay young then hey Write the write the super sport all you want. I um I, I'll admit that I aim a little more for comfort and aim more of a playful bike than than aggressive uh, sporty. But as this uh, as I start putting more and more content up, my goal is to actually start hitting the, the track and and I'm gonna have to get reused to riding th this motorcycle or these motorcycles because. This would be the best, I would say, experience via track, I'm, I'm assuming. So yeah, that's... Man, I forget how fast this bike can be. I'm not, I'm not going fast, just because I'm trying to talk and it's not, let it, it won't let me uh, talk once I go fast, but... You know that that's my goal wanting to to experience all the joys a bike will give you when it comes down to track focus uh road trips and and etc yeah just straight all the way straight um so back to what i was talking about this is are these bikes i must i'm gonna try to cater this video more to uh, uh new riders and um what is it uh new riders and uh commuting so everyday riding and which bike would be better suited for you what oh no no you <laughs> You want to hit the button, huh? <laughs> I haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, so... Huh? Nah, nah, you're good. It's already changing. So, this is going to be my opinion and his. But so far, this this thing for me is not, it's not comfortable. I wouldn't want to daily this thing. Will I, will I want to ride it once in a while? Yeah, that's fine.
power there? Most definitely. Look at this guy. Hey, if someone tells you that the R3 the, the doesn't book, huh? So the R3 is basically going to be uh, the, the, the baby brother of this bike, technically. When someone tells you that you can't ride like the R3, it's oh, it's it's a it's a baby bike. You're gonna outgrow it, and this is this is true. You are gonna outgrow it. But the one thing that you're gonna get out of that is that you're gonna be able to learn and adapt. You know, if you're a new rider, weight matters. It definitely matters in weight on uh, motorcycles because when you're commuting, if you're if you're uh, where you live allows you to lane split all that matters it takes into consideration i would say the my harley currently i wouldn't be able to ride that thing as comfortable if i didn't have the experience that i have now just because it's just a heavy bike being able to ride different motorcycles one it's a privilege and um it's just a joy to be able to enjoy different types of styles and and bikes let me uh let me get cut in front right quick oh i think we can if we take this freeway i think we can if we take this freeway right yeah let's do it so we're just gonna go around technically around the block Oh, I can't even turn on this bike to be honest. It's so uncomfortable. In the highway, we definitely, uh, I, I honestly, on the highway, I feel a lot more comfortable on this bike. The one thing that's negative on that bike is that it doesn't have the ability to move. Like, we'll have to see when I ride it next, but it, I, I don't think it has the ability to move uh, different lanes whenever you please. So, that'd be the only gripe that I have on that bike is that the the power isn't uh like I can't just send it and the power delivery is a little lackluster on that motorcycle versus this one so this is what we look like riding on the highway With, with the you know 600s or higher you're able to just punch it whenever you please that's the that's the beauty of these bikes um, versus your 300 but I keep on saying I have I, I have yet to be on uh, on a 300 I've never ridden one so this would be my first time actually experiencing the 300 uh, and and I will let you guys know if, if there's enough power to get up and go on these on that bike. Riding on this this thing on the highway, man, this is I forget how fun of a bike the R6 is. And uh, you know, yes, it's an aggressive bike. It hurts my back, but the pure joy that this bike gives you, just uh, riding, is awesome. Oh God! Do I care if my wrists are sore? No. 
Dude, this thing is such a fun, I forgot how fun it is. On the highway, it's so much fun. Well, you'll ride it right now. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's such a blast. Dude. Holy crap. I'm like, I feel like a kid again. Like, whoa, shit. Thing's... And I wasn't even going fast. I was going slow as fuck. That's crazy. Where are going? I'll pull over and we'll switch. You excited? You excited? 